welcome back to your channel technophile for boss okay so today uh, i am going to uh, tell you one questions which which usually come for infosys i would say technical exam okay so when i sat for the interview i got a question uh, to resolve uh, it was something like this like they have given a situation actually there was some story and the moral of the story was to write a function that will count the number of zeros okay on a given number starting from one mean if i give 10 so it will it will check like from one to ten how many zeros are there in the number like in 10 there are one zero so the output should be one like for 11 the output should be one similarly for 50 the output should be five okay since 10 20 30 40 50 uh, contain zeros and if we, if we count the number of zeros then one two three four five then for 100 the output should be 11 how 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90. This nine number contain one zero, so it's nine, and hundred contain two zero, so it should be eleven. Similarly, for two hundred, the output should be thirty one, and for two thousand, the output should be four ninety two. So in in process, I mean we we got a question like this, and I have to run my program and show the output so i was successfully uh, done that so they have a uh, given gi given as the uh, will to use any of the language so what i did i created this functions in using javascript so okay so i wrote a function like this okay and what i did I declare a vary, variable like number zero equal to zero. Okay. Let me change it to number of zero equal to zero and I return this. So if okay, and in parameter I expect accept a data. Okay. So data should be a string. Uh, I would say number. OK, so I assume that. Now my motto, so how I can I can do this, uh, find out the number of zeros. First of all, I have to run a loop, right? Then only I can get. So from from where it, it told us like it should start from one till that number. So loop should start from. Yeah, let's start from one. i is less than equal to data okay i plus plus okay uh sorry it should be light yeah my assumption is i will only get number okay what we can do, I can I can use number as here as well. Okay. But let it be, I, I will make this program on JavaScript only for some plus. So what I did, I see i loop the value so for 100 suppose for 100 i am getting 1 to 100 so okay now uh, you might be thinking like if those number i divide by 10 then i can uh, get the number of zeros yeah that's one thing but if you see the output of this of till 100 uh, see for these numbers also i have to count 2 
right? For 100, I have to count to similarly for 200. Uh, for those values which has double zeros, I have to count two. So what I will do, I will let each now. Okay. Equal to I. Okay, it's my each num. And then what I will do, I have to find the number of zeros that are there. How I can I can found how I can get that. Uh, yeah, let me do it here only. So how I can get that like like a number. Uh, I mean, how many uh, numbers uh, which, which has zero? So first, why? What I will do? I will convert this to a string. And then. Split it. OK. Let me check this. What happening? Okay. Each num add. Let me give that. Okay. And let me run this function with under. OK, so let me run this page. So what happening? If you see the logs, what it is doing. For single digits, it, it's, it's splitting the data based on JGX. OK. So the second thing, the, the next thing which I should do is to find number of zeros here. OK, so there could be a different way like I can loop this again and and check the number of zeros. But in their question, they, to, they told us to uh, make this code as optimized as well. OK, so we do. We should not do any uh, extra looping and all those things. So what I will do? I will write a functions. Here. OK, what? Let. Each zero count. Okay. What I will do? I will filter it out and find out like how many how many zeros are there in this array. Uh, let me copy that function. Yeah, sorry for this. Okay. Hmm. So what I did, I just filter it out. OK. And check like whether there are any zeros in in that arrays or not. OK, and then I've got I get the count like for 100. Like for 100, uh, this function, this thing will return 2. OK, and for 80 or 90, it will return 1. Like for 90, for this array, it will return 1. So we are getting each number. So what I will do, I will simply add this to my original count. OK. And I think that's it. We are good. That's it. Okay, so let me print the. Let me log the value. Which has zero.
so what i will do for your simplicity i am logging the data as well as the count now you can easily able to understand like what is happening here. okay and this will return this so if we do uh, log here we can get the desire of console dot log okay this will be our desire of this was the question it was asked in what's an exam like to write a function let me first check like whether it satisfied the given conditions or not so see uh, this answer is 11 why 11 because if we run the loop from 1 to 1 to 100 so 10 has 1 0 20 has 1 0 similar to that 100 has 2 0 so if we add everything it will be 11 so it satisfied the condition let me run it for 200 and see what happened yeah okay if we run for 200 you can see 31 and 31 was the expected output so why 31 you can check this like till 100 it's it's 11 then for 101, 102, 103, till 109, we, are, we again, again get nine numbers. So this, and then for each 110, 20, 30, and then for 200, it's two. So if we add everything, you will get 31. Okay. So in this way, if we can test it for 2000, we get all the desired outputs. Okay. Yeah, we are getting all our desired outputs output and for 2000 we are getting three so these were the conditions and this function uh, fully fully able to uh, satisfy the condition and i was selected for the next round okay and again on third round i get another questions uh, related to to this i will i will again make a video for that but till now i think this is the question which i got which i got in in process round and these are the uh, these are the these are the functions and how i get the output okay and to solve this question i got i, I was given i think one hour one hour of 45 minutes to resolve this and i was able to resolve the it successfully so that's it my friend so so this this were the format this were the data and this in this this is a way where we are able to resolve the issue okay so thank you everyone for, for watching the video and if you find this video helpful then please share it among your friends okay and and please do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed channel so thank you for today thank you and bye bye